So I'm here at the Conservative Party convention with Tony Clement. Tony, what is your overall impression of the convention? It's very positive. Uh, of course, the morale of the Conservative Party caucus has been very strong, very high right. over the last few months. And we've really bonded together as a team of, of uh, new MPs as well as uh, the experienced ones who've been in the House of Commons before. And I really saw that transfer to all of the delegates and uh, participants at the convention as well, that they they felt the energy, they felt like we have turned the page on the past, we've said a good goodbye to Stephen Harper, right. but we've also turned the page and we're now looking to the future. Uh, do you think a lot of it, you touched on the new MPs, what mm -hmm. do you think those 33 rookies are bringing to the table? They, of course, uh, you know, they've got a lot of vigor mm -hmm. and uh, they're excited and they're so good at what they do. They do their right. research, they are, uh, they are attending committee meetings, they are uh, coming out with policy positions. I, I look at somebody like Michael Cooper, who has done such an amazing job on the physician-assisted dying bill right. and has really led the way for our caucus to understand the ins and outs of that bill, to understand what the amendments uh, would do to that bill. So that's, you know, that's nitty-gritty stuff and for a newcomer to really dig deep in that, is, it's, it's very, very impressive. So we got some great impressive new MPs and of course those of us who have been around a few years uh, we've got our experience and uh, you know just an understanding of how the place works and how to put across a point of view and and the, the combination is very very positive. We had some very vigorous conversation mm -hmm. going on in those policy rooms. Um, what do you think that kind of conversation does for a party as opposed to what we see going on at the Liberal convention right now? I think it's, it shows the maturity of the Conservative Party that we can have our disagreements and discussions, we can have the debate, we'll have the vote, and then we move on to the next issue. And uh, I think that that shows the maturity that we have. We're not pushing media out, we're not trying to hide anything, we're, we're here warts and all. But I think Canadians expect that now. They expect authenticity, they expect openness, and that's what we're showing. And the, the surprising thing about the Liberals is they preach that, they preach that sermon mm -hmm. time and again. They hammered us day after day in the election on that, and they're just flipping around uh, to be the Liberal Party of old again. It's, it's quite, uh, quite uh, astounding to see, actually. Uh, in the three declared candidates, are you on a team yet? Do you have a favorite? Well, I'm of course uh, looking to consider my own candidacy. So uh, Excellent. I'm, uh, I am uh, having a have had a lot of conversations with uh, with the conservatives here, and uh, feel very encouraged about the conversations I've had. So I'll be making a decision in the weeks ahead. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.